have a motion on the July Tinwald order paper about the Media Development Fund. You want a committee of three members established to investigate the events that caused the losses of £26 million from the Media Development Fund and report by January 2019. Yes. Explain the £26 million. Where do you get that figure from? Well, that was from a previous written answer which details each film which was under the um, authority of Cinema NX and which Pinewood Film Advisors advised on. And it details which film has lost what, what's been written off, if you like, it, on each film. And it totals over £26 million. So why do you think a select committee is needed? I mean, you, the, the figures are there, they've been published. It's something that was in the past. Uh, the whole of the Media Development Fund and the Isle of Man's approach to film has moved on. Is this... Is there any point to this? Well, I think there is. I think the taxpayer is actually entitled to know why government has lost £26 million worth of its money. If nothing else, it's entitled to know exactly what happened and what went wrong and why. I mean, it, as I say, if for no other reason, it, it's not as if it's your own money you're spending and you go, oh, we can't be bothered looking at back at that because it's not worth it. This is not our money. This is taxpayers' money. It's public funds that have gone. And they're entitled to a proper response to this. And how would you in, uh, envisage the investigation unfolding? Oh, my goodness, that will be up to the committee. Fingers crossed we get one. Um, but I would certainly be going back... Um, to the beginning of the Media Development Fund, because uh, if you recall in 2006, I think it was, there was questions asked in the House of Lords about the Isle of Man and VAT on film. And then Mr Bell, the then Treasury Minister, referred to VAT changes, changes in VAT procedures in his uh, March 2007 a budget speech saying that a new model would be required because of VAT changes. Um, and he took that reference that, that, as I say, it was a very fleeting reference in the whole of his budget speech to this new model, uh, but he took that as general approval for passing 50 million over to Cinema NX. I mean, that is shown on their balance sheet as an asset of theirs. There is a corresponding entry saying that, they are, that there's a liability as well, but it, it, it's actually shown on their, on their balance sheet of the only accounts that we've ever been able to see, which were given to the Public Accounts Committee um, when they did their work into it. Yes, when you look at the, the only accounts of Cinema NX that we've been able to see, and that was uh, because they were evidence that the Public Accounts Committee um, acquired, they actually, they actually made over two million in bank interest in that first trading period. And under the contract with government, they were allowed to keep that for their operating expenses. And when you look at the interest that was earned, on the on this public finances that had been passed to Cinema NX by the 31st of March 2013, it was over £6 million. So a 2006 company, which the only people who ever have had sight of accounts since were the Treasury, has actually made £6 million of it in interest up to March 13, and the public have lost £26 million. I think this... I think it does need looking at. I really do think it does need looking at. Looking at the 26 million, um, there is a phrase, speculate to accumulate. We know that the government has, over a, a great many years now, tried to diversify the economy, has invested in various things, has, has tried to, to grow new sectors in the Isle of Man. Some have been very successful. On the face of these figures, film hasn't been. But isn't that just sometimes the way it goes? It is, and I would not criticise anybody for... Um, being open and transparent and saying this is what we're trying to do but you do it for a limited time they did it for five years it didn't work in five years why commit another 25 million for another five years to see if it's going to get any better it's not a medium risk it's a high risk and at a time when their budget is their finances are not exactly in the best place why would you commit another 25 million in a very, very high-risk industry. It doesn't make sense. But Treasury did make some profit off the, the Pinewood deal. 
Oh, that was the, that was the shares. That's a totally different issue. That's nothing to do with the Media Development Fund. Um, at the time, it was tried um, to sort of link the two together. It was part of the the same deal. It, it, one d relied on the other, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but I got confirmation from the Attorney General that they were two separate deals, and and two separate deals they remain. Um, I think there was quite a lot of people who would have supported the investment in the company itself in shares, but were very dubious about investing in the media, having the media development fund money used to invest further in under their advice when they had never given advice. Now you've been a fairly vociferous critic of the investments that have been made in film by the Isle of Man government and of the people involved. I mean, is this is this a vendetta? No, it isn't a vendetta. It's something that you haven't got to the end of. If you can't tie off all the loose ends and say, this is what happened, and this is why it happened, and this is what we need to learn from, how are you going to learn from anything if you don't know what happened? And I am certainly not convinced that we know of everything that happened, of everything that went wrong, of everything that should not have happened, what controls should have been put in place to stop it happening. So no, it's not a vendetta. Why would it be a vendetta? I've got nothing to gain by it. Yeah.